we're going to talk about telling time. When we tell time, we have, when we look at a clock, we have an hour hand and a minute hand. And so one of the things we're going to discuss is how do you tell the difference between an hour hand and a minute hand? Okay, well, if I look at this clock, this is my hour hand and this is my minute hand. And I have a trick to help you remember. Your hour hand is the shortest hand. And I have this trick. I'm gonna write these two words here. The hour hand is the shortest hand, just like the word hour is shorter than the word minute. So this is our hour hand, this is our minute hand. So if I was gonna read this clock, I would say the hour is on the seven, the minute is here, so it is seven o'clock. Okay, let's try a few more. And what if I do this? Okay. So when I read this time, I usually try to find the hour hand first. So I think this is between the eight and the nine, but it's not nine o'clock yet. So it's eight o'clock. And then we have to figure out how many minutes we are at. So when I count minutes, I start at the 12 and I start counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, ooh, 25. So this is eight, 25. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do this one. Okay, so I'm gonna look at my hour hand first. That's the shorter hand. And I notice it's between the two and the three. It's almost on the three, but it's not on the three yet. So it's gonna be two. And then I have to go count my minutes. So I'm pretty good at counting by fives. So I could start here at at the one and count around just like I just did, but I also have another trick that I wanna teach you. I know that when I get to the six, it's 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna start here and go 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So this time is 255. Okay, we're gonna do some math practice together in our workbook. Go find your volume one workbook, and I want you to turn to page seven. So go find page seven. This is what the page looks like. I have it projected on the screen behind me so we can do a couple practice problems together. So we're gonna read the directions and answer the questions. So the first question says, the directions say, circle the clock that shows the time. And the first question says, which clock shows 1.30? So we're going to do this together. So have your pencil ready. So let's look at both clocks. We know that the hour hand is our smaller hand. The minute hand is a much longer hand. So when we look at this one, this is between the one and the two. So that means it's one o'clock. And then let's count our minutes. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ooh, I think this clock shows 1.30. I'm gonna write that down. Now let's figure out what this clock says. So this hour hand is between the six and the seven. So that means it's six. And then let's count our minutes. Oh, that's 6.05. So which clock shows 1.30? We would circle A. Okay, let's scroll down and do number two. And I'll erase this. Okay, so let's write down the times of the clocks we see. So this one is between the one and the two. So that means it's one, and then let's count our, out, our minutes. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I think that clock shows 145. Let's see what this clock says. Okay, this one, my hour hand is between the two and the three. That means it's still two o'clock, so that's two. And then I'm gonna count my minutes. Well, and I know when I get to the six, that's 30. So you might use that as kind of a helper. 30, 35, 40, 45. So I believe that clock says 245. So which clock would I circle? I would circle clock B. Sorry, clock D, you read that wrong. Okay, we have one more to do together. And I'll erase this. 
and scroll this up. Okay, the last one. This says, which clock shows 4.45? So let's find out the times for all these clocks. Oh, that, sorry, that says 4.55. So when I look at this, the hour hand, my short hand, is between the four and the five. So I know that's four still, because it's not at the five yet. And then if I count my minutes, I know when I get to the 60, that's 30. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. I think that clock says 455, but let's check this one just to be sure. So my hour hand is between the four and the five again, so that means it's four, it's not quite at the five. And then let's count our minutes. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So I think this clock shows 450, but this clock shows 455. So what will I circle for which clock shows 455? You're right, I will circle E. Okay, so now that we've done those problems together, what I want you to do is open up your workbook, or actually just turn the page, to page eight. Page eight has all these clocks on it. Six clocks. I want you to tell the time and put the time on the blank. Okay, six clocks to do on your own. Um, I will have you submit this as an assignment so that I can see your work.